Hello and welcome. This is Honeysuckle bringing you the player update for the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for Episode 6 of May 2017, Lost in the Fog. Uh, this time I didn't watch all the videos until today, actually. So I just went through alphabetically and watched everybody's videos. So the updates will be in order and in the order that I watched them in. <laughs> so that works out good. So we start off with Baker Bell. She started collecting clay to make bricks for the foundation of her bakery and got a good start on the build. Block Samurai worked on the entrance to her base, cut down some trees at night while talking about different books she's read, and I thought that was pretty cool to find another bookworm. I'm a bookworm, and so is my son. Next we have Dadcraft73. He went down to the caves after more cobblestone, ran into a nest of silverfish, found a cave, and found diamonds in the cave, mined some obsidian, built a portal, and went to the nether real quick. Um, he came back and used some of the netherrack for lighting around his graveyard, which might have accidentally caught the forest on fire. So we'll have to see what happened with that fire that was going on. Next we have Dark Age Man. He is still traveling the ocean. He had a run in with the guardians from a water temple and got mining fatigue. But he did finally find land where he fought a few mobs before jumping back in his boat to travel down a river as the episode ended. Next we have DJ Paul. He did some enchanting and anvil combining to start the episode, then explored the nearby areas and got lost as night fell trying to find his way back to the village. Did he find it as the sun rises? Watch his episode to find out. Next we have Dragon Feathers. She went around the village trying to protect the villagers even though they really didn't appreciate her efforts. Then at night she went mining after taunting a zombie who couldn't figure out how to reach her in her protected garden. She also found a cave to explore down there. Next we have Felonious Wizard. He built a giant mouse trap, working out how to use the red stuff to make it work, and then he went underground at night to dig out more rooms for his relatives. Uh, next would be Grandma's Gone Gaming, but I have not yet seen an episode 6 for her. So we go on to Granny's Got Game. She restarted her series with the correct seed, explored the village, then headed down the river to keep mobs from overrunning the village at, mo at night. Uh, this was in her first episode on the correct seed. She holed up in a riverbank at night and did a little mining while waiting for daylight. In episode 2, she headed back to the village to gather resources and check on the villagers before heading to let's see a new hidey hole at night she dug down to mine where she ran into silverfish i think several people this uh, episode had some silverfish problems next we have icy bubba he started out definitely lost but trying to find his way back to the village which he did finally stumble across he went to the library collected the books made an enchanting table did some enchanting before heading back down to the mine to explore some caves next we have java dad he worked on his farms, expanding the sugarcane crop, asked about the trap he had planned to build cows uh, he had planned to build to kill cows for leather. He wasn't planning on using the meat. Um, so I think we do have actually something in the standard rules about that, so I will just throw in the clip here from Michael Deering himself. Okay, as far as uh Killing cows for leather. Uh, killing cows is against the rules. If if a cow is is dies through no fault of your own or not any device that you constructed or any situation you created, you know, such as uh, you planted a bunch of trees and and a cow wanders into one of them, one of the saplings, and it it grows up and and kills the cow. That happens sometimes. Rare, very rare. Uh, uh, or uh, other situations I can't imagine but anyway if or if you get leather from fishing or uh, if a cow dies from other natural causes you know he wanders into a lava pit that you didn't put there or into cactuses that you didn't plant okay then you can get leather that way so I guess that answers that building traps to kill the cows would not be allowed so, also in his episode, his mouse kept dying on him, and at one point it actually uh, made him unable to move or run when a creeper was sizzling behind him. Fortunately, he didn't die then. Um, he did manage to survive, only to be ambushed by a skeleton and two zombies at the hilltop garden base, 
and unfortunately did not survive the encounter. So that is the end of his series this month, and we look forward to seeing him back next month. Uh, meanwhile, you can always check out the other uh, series on his channel. He does have several going on right now. Next, we have John Fowl 92 He did a lot of work on his house, finishing the layout, adding glass to the windows, and working out the roof design. It's looking very nice. You ought to check out his episode to see his house that he's building. Next, we have Tim Obert, Captain Hook 5150. He started his episode down in the mines, where he continued gathering resources, found diamonds, got obsidian, built a portal, and went to the nether to end the episode. Next, we have The Real Infinite from Trick Entertainment. In his episode 2, getting caught up here, he did some work on his gardens, gathered wood, reworked a couple more farms at the bottom of the hill, working through the night. Episode 3 picks up right with the garden terraforming, continuing, and moving along to the rest of the village through the night, where a baby zombie villager attacks him with the help of a skeleton and a spider, chasing him into a house where he was trapped with the baby inside and a spider on the roof. He did manage to survive, although another baby zombie showed up later, taking his health down to one heart. So, that was a very exciting episode for him. I did not see episode 4 out for him yet, but hopefully it will be out soon. I believe he had a football match to go to. TSG Gaming built a diagonal bridge from the hilltop base across to another mountain with a lava fall right near it for some nice natural lighting. Um, basically just did a lot of... Most of the episode was building on that and fighting mobs at night. So that was a, a good episode, and he's picking up probably in his next episode with more of a build on it. I think he was wanting to do some arches underneath it to make it look supported. So that is all that I have for the updates. <coughs> oh, I forgot myself. Um, in my episode 6, I built... Uh, Started the layout of my house. Unfortunately, I got interrupted in the middle of it. Thought I'd paused the video, but I'd actually stopped it. So when I thought I was unpausing it, it actually didn't do anything. So the recording did not continue. And you missed the last of the building of the house and the mining I did at night where I did find, I think it was five diamonds or four diamonds. Something like that. And that was basically it. So I found diamonds and started my house. I did get some crops planted, and that was pretty much it. So, next episode, I will definitely, you know, kind of show off the house that I did and keep working on it. So, that's it for the player updates, and we'll see you next time. Bye!